Hey guys, uh, today I want to do a little bit of uh, unboxing and a little bit of a quick review uh, on an EDC item that I got recently. Um, been using it for a week or so uh, to get a little idea so I would have some more information for this video. Um, so, uh, I basically sort of repackaged it so we could do a little bit of unboxing and so you get an idea uh, of what comes in the package. So what it is that we're talking about here, and you know from the title of the video, is the Rovi Vaughn Aurora A5 multifunction EDC flashlight. Uh, you can see that this comes from a company called Rovi Vaughn. I've never had uh, any product from them before, uh, but this, uh, I saw this one, it looked quite interesting, and I had, figured I had to check it out. Uh, just a couple things here on the packaging. Uh, you'll notice right here, there's an R and a U. Uh, this light is offered uh, with a secondary red light or a secondary ultraviolet light. You'll see that mine has the U checked because I chose the ultraviolet option. Uh, and basically then it also tells you it's got a Cree XPG3 LED. A uh, couple more things from the back of the box. Um, says it's a max output of 550 lumens at 80 meters and a 2.5 hour run time. Uh, so I'll just quick, you know, get into this because you can read the package yourselves. Um, show you what's in the box. So what we have here, uh, when we open it up, is a couple of things. Uh, so put this aside. Sort of. We have a uh, lanyard, Rovivon branded uh, black lanyard, a USB to micro USB cable, uh, which seems to be pretty much ubiquitous to uh, all these products these days. I've got about a million of these. Uh, and this, by the way, is used to charge the internal rechargeable battery. Uh, and then it looks like they also give you a uh, chain and ball uh, necklace or uh, so you could wear it a little bit uh, longer if you wanted to. Uh, a couple other interesting things in here, though. Uh, they also give you this tiny little uh, rubber piece, which you'll see in a minute, is to cover the uh, USB port in case you lose that. And the other thing that they include is a small little pocket clip. Maybe I'll keep that up, show you how that goes on. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your instruction manual, user information, warranty card stuff. Um, so, and then here we have the light itself. Um, you'll see that it has a, uh, a small lanyard on there that did not come uh, with this. That is something I... Uh, had put on there so I can attach it and detach it from my keychain easily. Um, I just didn't feel like taking it off uh, for this video. So uh, the light has uh, several functions, and I'll just sort of break down uh, the different functions and how they work right now. I'll slide this stuff out of the way so we get a better idea of uh, what it does. So the first function would be the momentary on. And I actually didn't think that there was much of a use for this until I got this light and I found that it's one of the most useful things that I've, that I, that I have, uh, most useful feature that it has. Um, and basically, you know, you give it a quick press and it comes on to its brightest mode. Uh, I'll shut off this light over here. Uh, so it comes on to its brightest mode. 
Uh, then it also has uh, the double click mode, which it will turn it on and keep it on without holding it. So you put it on uh, by double clicking, turns on low, a single click goes to medium, and a single click goes high, and another single click goes strobe, and then push and hold to turn it off. That is all on that X5 XP G3 LED up front. Um, the other features that it has now are all going to be coming uh, from this side light here. And in order to access the white LEDs on the secondary, you triple click it. And you'll notice that the body sort of illuminates, you know, produces a nice little light. Maybe if you're trying to read or something like that, or just set it on the table like a little candle or something. Uh, if you click it again, it will cause those white LEDs on the secondary to flash. And then again, a push and hold will turn it off. Uh, you may see a little bit of glowing there. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, so then, as mentioned before, there is a another primary, another secondary, uh, the UV secondary. And to access that, you do four clicks. And now you have a UV light for whatever you use UV lights for. Um, and press and hold to turn that off, and you'll notice the last feature that I hadn't mentioned yet, and it's the cool one. The entire body of this flashlight, although it appears clear, some sort of polycarbonate, it actually glows. And it glows quite well. I actually want to charge this with the hit this with another flashlight here for a second to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. And you see, I'm just gonna hit it for a quick second here. And this thing really glows. Uh, makes it really easy to find it in the dark. Um, Really, I've had several EDC lights. Um, this one is a little bit longer than I uh, than I typically go for, but it's so feature packed uh, and it's still so small uh, that I really think it's it's just the perfect light. Um, and just you know, really quickly, just to jump back to the thing I was talking about earlier. Here, you know, on the back, you see that. Uh, you can turn on the lights back here again. Uh, you can see this. Uh, little rubber door uh, that where you put the USB plug uh, and by the way when you are charging the USB uh, via USB the secondary lights uh, lights up blue I believe and then turns to green when it's uh, fully charged so uh, that's the, uh, Rovivon Aurora A5. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, otherwise, I mean, I, I think this is really a great EDC light and, uh, it, it's feature packed and, and I, I don't remember the exact price, but, um, I, I do recall that, uh, it was very, very inexpensive for all the features, um, that this light has. Uh, I'd say the only one thing I really can think of as a downside uh, is that the batteries are not uh, replaceable by the user. Uh, they're, they're sealed inside of here. Uh, this, this doesn't open in any way. Um, but in theory, uh, the, la the life of the battery they installed here probably will exceed the life of uh, the item itself, hopefully, or probably lose it before then something like that um but i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did give me a like and a subscribe and uh, keep on coming back for more because i uh try to get new stuff all the time and try to tell you the real deal about these things uh so you know and so you can make a good decision when you go to buy see you soon guys